हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू के एस एच इन्फरटेनमेंट टुडे आई गॉट गुड सिनारियो वेर आई विल शो यू द एक्चुअल यूज ऑफ टेबल एंड इंडेक्स मूवमेंट सो टुडे आई ऑब्जर्व दैट माई यूजर टेबल स्पेस हैज बिन ग्रोड अप टू टेन जी बी एंड आफ्टर रिलीजिंग from the objects which was inside this table space oracle is not long me to resize the data file okay as i mentioned here that my user table space was consuming approximately 10 gb and i find out a big tables inside it and even after truncating those tables the space reduced on table space level but not on os level <coughs> what is the mean of table space level it means you see the query space on querying the db data files but when you are going to resize uh, that data file to some small size you will get an error so there is no benefit uh, by uh, deleting those data from the tables if you can't reclaim the space physically okay so in this case we need to do table movement or object movement activity which is not be known as reorg okay so here is the plan which i have made and remember since we are the dba so we always follow some plan okay we don't uh, just go and start any activity without any proper plan okay so most of the time and uh, every time you must take care that you should have and you must have an accurate plan and a backup plan okay and well tested plan you can check it uh, on development or test server before performing it on the target production server fine so my plan is first i will check that which objects are there in the table space okay suppose uh, there is uh, tables regarding two schemas or four schemas on that table space so i will move all the objects from that table space to a newly created table space which i will uh, name as reorg_ts then i will move and reveal index in the new table space and after that i will check that uh, uh, where uh, that whether some tables has been left in the old ts if not then again i will move those tables and indexes back to original table space after that i will drop the temporary table space and uh, again i will check the table space details and now we will try to reclaim space from data file first uh, i will uh, i want to show you that current status of my data file here you can see that user table space has been allocated across 10 gb and use size is only 2 mb Three MB is across 10 GB. That means the maximum space is free, as you can see here. Okay, 99% space is free. And on data file level, you can see it is the data file inside user table space, and it is showing only 0.02% has been utilized. I will show you that what error I am getting during this search. so i hope you got my point the oracle is not allowing to resize and uh, don't worry this is common uh, issue that uh, you know the concept of high motor work right so i hope that you all know and uh, if you don't know uh, comment below and uh, i'm sorry comment in the comment section and i will discuss uh, those points uh, if you if i uh, get uh, some uh, more request from uh, uh, from your side 
I will make a video on high water mark. Right? So let's begin. So here I will check that which objects are there, which segments are there in user stable space. So here we can see that tables and indexes are there in user stable space and schema are Scott and Anna. Okay fine. Now let's check the status of all objects. Okay. For both schemas, there are objects and all are in value status. Why I am checking this data? Because actually this is pre data. And after performing an activity, we need to check again this data because uh, it happens uh, most of the time that during object movement or any modification, some objects, dependent objects, got uh, went in invalid state okay so we need to recompile them and uh, uh, make it valid okay fine so now i am creating a temporary uh, reorg table space of size 5 gb okay so my table space has been created it's okay so these are the scripts it will be generated automatically and remember as an TVA always try to generate script because we don't have enough time to execute every command every time that all the table move blah 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 and all that okay so I will generate all the outputs at once uh, I will uh, uh, describe you that what I am currently doing in first query, I am generating script to enable row movements for all tables inside user table space. Yeah, okay. So in first query, uh, I am uh, I am checking that. Oh, sorry, I am I am I am generating the script to enable row movements for tables which are inside user's table space fine and uh, second query to disable fine in the third query it is the uh, script to move the table to a uh, new table space and the last one is the script to move the index in the new table space fine after that i will check uh, again that uh, uh, whether any objects has been left in the user stable space or not okay it will return it should return zero point and uh, when we check uh, objects in real case it will show the exact data which was earlier in the user stable space and, uh, so let's generate the output okay so let's perform one by one. Fine. After enabling the movement, don't again uh, disable. First, we need to move the tables. So run the move command. Okay, it is a move command. okay not an issue it is uh, telling that uh, the user anup has no privilege on table space fine no issue just provide some quota okay i can try tables have been moved now it's time to move the indexes okay 
alter index and rebuild on, rebuild on new ts fine now let's check that any object left in user table space as i said earlier it should and it, it must return no rows fine and let's check inside area of ts fine uh, remember you should match the data from the earlier that count will be yeah, that count is 3 2 2 3 to 5 table and 2 index ok 5 table 2 index fine so our object has been moved successfully ok so it is the correct command I didn't remember this ok fine so again we will generate the script to move as objects remember since we have the rule movement enabled so we can move tables has been moved move the indexes fine again check so as you can see in users all objects are there and no objects in new york remember every time you perform any maintenance activity of object movement related you must gather statistics status so here ok no issue now we will try to resize i hope it should not throw any error fine So now here if you can see that that the query has been executed successfully to resize the data file of user state space. So we have successfully reclaimed the unwanted free space from user stable space. Now drop the RTS. As stated earlier, we have uh, we need to check the object status at the last of activity. Okay, all objects in are in valid states, so also there is no issue. So hope uh, you learned something. Uh, the actual use of table index movement, that why we why we perform object movement activity. So I hope it will help you. So if you like this video, kindly like, share and also subscribe and comment if you have any doubts, queries. Okay. Now one more thing that uh, this task was a little bit easier because there was no lob segments. So movement of lob uh, Lob segments are uh, having some uh, some different steps inside. So I will make a separate video on that. So till then, uh, keep like, subscribe, and share. Okay, thank you.